And I will move along to the mayor's report. And Mayor Johnston, you're online. Are you giving your report from a distance or are you saving it for the next report? I am going to provide a brief report uh, for the period of November 14th through the 26th. I can advise that on November the 15th, along with Councillor Clada and uh, Councillor Fenske and City Manager Sabatelli, we had the opportunity to meet uh, with Minister Swan, Minister of Justice here in Winnipeg. Four items were on the table for discussion. The Northern Restorative Justice Facility, the Crime Severity Index, Cadet Program, and Policing Costs. Later on in that day, we had an opportunity to meet with Minister Kerry Irvin Ross regarding affordable housing, transitional housing, and the detox facility for Thompson and the North. I also want to note that uh, we were joined uh, in those meetings by representatives from the Northern Association Community Council and in the morning meeting with representatives from the uh, Manor of Métis Federation. Just to highlight that uh, uh, also on November 15th and 16th, uh, Councillor Collada and myself attended the Manitoba Mining and Minerals Conference here in Winnipeg. I thought it was very interesting in seeing some of the uh, work that is being done in uh, mining throughout the province and uh, the opportunities for Thompson as a service centre and a very strong mining community. I also note that uh, Valley was represented uh, by uh, local Pollock and Ryan Land as well at that conference. Just as a follow-up to those meetings, I can advise that uh, this morning the City of Thompson uh, drafted and delivered a letter to the Premier of the Province of Manitoba specifically relating to justice uh, issues, and I just want to read that letter for the record uh, uh, at this point. Again, it was delivered this morning to Premier Selinger. I wish to inform you that the City of Thompson is faced with a daunting challenge in addressing public safety issues in our city. A delegation consisting of council along with support from representatives of the Northern Association Community Councils and the Manitoba Métis Federation, who are members of the Thompson Area Round Table, met with Minister of Justice and his representatives on November 15, 2012 to discuss four issues that are of significant importance to the city and region. The four issues are as follows, restorative justice facility, crime severity index, cadet program and policing costs. Paramount in these discussions is the amount of what the city is forced to pay in policing costs compared to similar sized communities of Portage Prairie and Steinbach. The residents of Thompson bear an unfair financial burden compared to other residents of this province. As such, the Minister of Justice was presented with an invoice for $997,500, which brings the city of Thompson in line with the city of Portage and Prairie regarding costs for policing. This cost is still considerably higher than what the residents of the city of Steinbach are responsible for. In addition, the city of Tufts will not be contributing $161,599.33 for social assistance as this is a provincial responsibility and considerably more than what other municipalities are required to pay. The legislation requiring this is unreasonable and unjust for the residents of this city. I look forward to hearing from your government and how you propose to address the critical issues impacting our community and region. The City of Thompson is willing to sit down and discuss how these issues can be addressed. It is imperative that the province recognize that regional centers must be prioritized and funded differently if the province is to move forward and prosper. So again, that letter was forwarded this morning to the Premier along with the Minister of Justice and the Minister of Finance, as well as other representatives of those agencies that did attend. Further uh, uh, media release has been uh, issued late this evening and should uh, be in the hands of media first thing tomorrow morning. This week, uh, starting today and, and running for most of the uh, remainder of the week, as mentioned earlier, Deputy Mayor Hogan, Councilor Robinson, City Manager Sepatelli, and myself are attending the AMM meeting. Uh, here in Winnipeg and there are a number of sessions and keynote speakers and the opportunity to have informal discussions and I can advise that this morning we did have an opportunity to meet with Minister Lemieux of uh, government, Manitoba Local Government. Just a couple other things that I want to highlight uh, uh, today is that um, we have been advised by Manitoba Conservation that uh, they are conducting regular patrols uh, with respect to uh, coyotes uh, sightings, they are snaring and trapping at various locations and have removed coyotes to date and we will continue to keep the public up to date on the activities that uh, are, uh, are uh, being carried out by Manitoba Conservation. I do urge caution uh, as always in terms of uh, residents of Thompson and how they are uh, dealing with uh, wildlife in and around our area. And again, ask people to please contact 
Manitoba Conservation if they do see any coyotes or wolves. Further, uh, I understand, although I've been away for a few days, that winter weather has arrived in Thompson. I understand we're having some issues with some uh, water breaks, as always, and also with the conditions on the road. I know that I was advised that some many of the roads were slippery over the weekend. Uh, we did have equipment out on the weekend. However, we had a mechanical failure, and uh, so as today, we had our backup unit first thing in the morning, and the second unit is, or the primary unit, is being repaired and should be on the streets tomorrow. Again, I appreciate the feedback from residents of Thompson when they are advising that uh, there are issues there. I do have one incident that I want to draw the attention uh, of the community. I was made aware of a very disturbing incident on the weekend that had racial slurs and criminal activity associated. I can only advise that in no way will that type of behavior ever be acceptable in our community. I can tell you that I have followed up with the RCMP. Let residents be assured there is no way these types of behaviors can be misunderstood as uh, juvenile or not with uh, intense other than how they are received, which for me is as hate crimes, and I will only say that I will ensure that the RCMP follow up to the fullest ability to pursue anyone that may be involved in such an activity. Uh, I can advise that I do have three proclamations for tonight. Uh, first, by virtue of the authority vested in me as Mayor of Thompson, I hereby proclaim the month of December 2012 as HIV AIDS Awareness Month in the city of Thompson. I also hereby proclaim December 1st, 2012 as World AIDS Day in the city of Thompson. And I proclaim the month of December 2012 as a Salvation Army Christmas Kettle Month in the uh, city of Thompson. I hope that uh, individuals will support each of those proclamations and the work that is being done in our community. As I indicated, uh, I have been uh, out of the city uh, for quite some time, and I will invite others to highlight activities. I first want to thank Deputy Mayor Hogan uh, for assuming some of the responsibilities very quickly after being appointed as I left the city. And I also want to acknowledge and thank Councillor Lafreniere for chairing the meeting tonight. I know it is a very difficult uh, time to chair when you have people in different locations and using this type of communication, but thank you for a job well done, and I'll turn it over to any other members of council who may have updates to provide.